NCAA college basketball. And we are on a roll right now. We've won our last five NCAA college basketball plays. Yesterday, we had Vanderbilt over St. John's. And as I predicted, they absolutely just destroyed them. Uh, St. John's has got a ways to go. And I imagine they're going to struggle today against Indiana as well. But that's not the play here. Here, we're looking at Maryland versus Illinois State. And I like under the total. Odds makers have set the number at 135 and a half. Uh, and I like under here. I think we're going to see a good defensive battle, especially on a neutral floor here in Cancun, Mexico in this tournament. Let's talk about Illinois State. The Redbirds, they come in, they're averaging 66.5 points per game, shooting 41% from the field and 34.3% from distance. Dan Mueller, speaking of Vanderbilt, he actually came from there as an assistant coach, has done a nice job with this Illinois State program. They're one of the better teams in the Missouri Valley Conference that has some good teams like Wichita State and Northern Iowa, who just upset North Carolina. They're led by Devon Akun Purcell. He averages 17 points per game, very good senior player. Um, and they have some good pieces back. They could actually make some noise there in the Missouri Valley Conference and uh, possibly make a push towards the NCAAs depending on you know how they do. Still, good defensive team. Let's talk about those numbers. On the air, they're allowing 69 points per game, 42.1% shooting from the field, and 32.3% from beyond the arc. The percentages are good. The, to the number is not that great. Still not bad overall. They've played, uh, they've had two losses so far on the year against pretty good teams in San Diego State, arguably the best team in the Mountain West Conference, and South Dakota State, one of the best mid majors who's also picked to win their conference. Let's talk about Maryland. Maryland, very interesting team, interesting combination of returners and new guys, but great talent. Can they make the build the chemistry? That's going to be the thing. So far on the year, they come out offensively, averaging 73.3 points per game, shooting 50.6% from the field, percent from the field, and 32.8% from beyond the arc. From beyond the arc, not that great. They do a lot of damage in the paint. They're long, they're athletic. Mark Turgeon must be really excited about this team. And they got some really good players like sophomore guard, Mello Trimble comes back. Very good playmaker, just overall great scorer as well, as well as forward Jake Lehman. Uh, another returner. So it's just going to be interesting how they get that mixture going. Right now they're ranked second in the country, but they've had their battles here. They battled with Georgetown. They battled with Ryder. And uh, this is going to be not an easy matchup for them with Illinois State. I definitely think they do win this game, but I like under the total here as well against the game, let's say Georgetown. They're not going to get the home cooking. They went to the line 32 times against Georgetown, making 23 of those uh, compared to about 12 opportunities for the Hoyas. So I don't look that for that to happen tonight in Cancun, neutral floor. Look for a more uh, more even type of refereeing possibly and uh, for us to get under this total. Defensively, Maryland, very solid. They're allowing 61.7 points per game, 41.7% shooting from the field, and 32.8% from beyond the arc. Very interesting. Their numbers shooting the ball from beyond the arc and defending the ball from beyond the arc are the same. Mark Turgeon, very good coach. He knows defensively, in order for them to make a push into the finals of that NCAA tournament at the end of the year, if they're going to be there at the end of the year, they got to play great defense in a, in a very tough Big Ten conference. I think they're going to be able to do it. So what I like today is for them to ramp it up on defense and uh, stop Illinois State. But for Illinois State to play pretty defense, decent defense themselves against a very good Maryland team, I'm going to take under the total here. 135 and a half for a game that's not going to be really, really up-tempo. Look for that under the total here with Maryland and Illinois State. And I wish you guys luck on your picks today.